Yeah. But uh, he's got a he's got a pretty formidable opponent in Oryx. Who's uh, going to be pulling out the Peach. Um, I personally feel like Lucas Peach would be really frustrating for Lucas. Seems pretty frustrating. Because a lot of your stuff relies on, you know, getting those uh, footstool combos or getting a lot of big combo chains, which uh, you don't really get a lot of on floats. Yeah, Peach very floaty. And um, Peach is able, you know, like, obviously Lucas wants to uh, Zare and PK fire, but... Peach has that flow. She can just kind of wait for you to do something and then be in your face. Yeah. And that's another thing is that when Peach is floating pretty close to the ground, it makes it hard for uh, for Lucas to get that grab. Yeah, and definitely. And grab is the big starter for it. Grab is a big deal for Lucas. And, yeah, I feel like this could be like a pretty decent uh, counter to Lucas. Solid 60-40, solid I'd say, probably. Yeah, I could see that. Because as you can see, I mean, that means doing all right. But he's not he's not getting any of the crazy Lucas stuff that we know him for. Oh, That's a great counter. I love that option so much. Forward air. But now Batman may be able to no, it just goes right for the platform. I was thinking he might uh, pull out the rope snake for the recovery. Ooh, nice roll for Morex. Get away from that grab. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that was a great back air. Yeah, approaching back air. Oh that magnet turnaround, what was that? <laughs> that was sick. Did like a B reverse or something? He did something. Probably. Dude, that means, that means Lucas Tech is just so crazy. Like, he's able to pick up characters and just do stuff with them. Yeah. That, like, that, like, you're like, that should have taken you a lot longer to learn. Now, granted, he's been playing Lucas forever, but just in Ooh. general, that's... Yeah, that's, that's not what you can combo off of that, but that is uh, big damage. Uh, down I love that move. Well, not down tilt, rather forward tilt. Down to forward tilt. Oh! Yeah, I'm glad they brought Lucas back. I was like, oh. Oh, the fair. Oh, what were you doing? <laughs> just having fun chilling things off in summer. And then he just gets grabbed for it. The people of Smashville have never seen snow. Yeah. Only with mods. I don't know why that they don't do seasonal background stuff for these stages. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Right now, Oryx has built himself a pretty decent lead. A pretty you can big see lead. he's doing a really good job of keeping Batman in the corner. You don't want to let Lucas start moving around and getting. Uh, you don't want a Lucas to start grooving on him. Oh yeah, last time I played Batman, it was super last stock, last hit, and I had like he was probably like a hundred, and I literally came back on my stock, which is that's totally a problem I had. It happened with me with Light last week too, but it's just mm -hmm. like. He'll bring it back, and then all of a sudden, it's like, if I get grabbed, I think I'm dead. Oh, That's oh. a good recovery. He would have been able to grab the ledge, but when uh started it a little bit too high, so he yeah. was able to get the slap. Yeah, recovering with the mother boys is uh, it's pretty tough. Lucas definitely outshines the nest just because he has that tether. Oh, man, I would kill for a tether. <laughs> I would actually kill for a tether. And I would die. Yeah, okay. Anybody right. that doesn't play Ness would die. I, 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 under, I understand that as a Ness player, that must the thought of that must make you wet. But oh yeah, I'm soaked right now. <laughs> as, as somebody who has he, to like, think about playing against a Ness that can recover. Yeah. Oh, that's that just sounds like too much pine tower on the bat right there. <laughs> All right, going to uh, this is a good counter pick from. Batman, I think this is his preferred counter pick, uh, but I know Oryx also known to counter pick to uh, FDs. This is just like Lucas loves this stage. Oh this, my god! This is by far Lucas's best stage, and you're seeing why. Lucas dominates the ground game. He doesn't have. I cannot believe how dead Oryx oh is. Holy god. cow! And that's obviously untackable because you're in the freeze. I wonder if he was mashing that whole time. I'm pretty sure he could have. I, yeah, that was just weird. Yeah. He like stage spiked while in the block or something. It's like, what happened? But I mean, yeah, Lucas, I mean, he's not great at covering platforms, right? And he dominates the ground game. But, you know, Peach is also very solid on the ground game. Now, granted, she gets a lot more off of platforms than Lucas does because she has, for example, that up air and the float and air. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, God, when it comes to Final Destination, Lucas is is one of the harder-to-beat characters you know. Definitely. But 
his recovery options do get a little bit more limited because of lack of platforms, and Oryx was able to use that to his advantage by scouting out the double jump from ledge with the big forward air, and now brought it all the way back to even. Wow. Oh, oh. my goodness! Okay, that was sick. Yeah, he just looks like he's a different player whenever he's on the stage. He really, I mean, <laughs> it just, it feels unbeatable. Like, you look at this and you're like, how do you get in on this? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what happened to me. You know, it's like, you're like, all right, I'm in a deficit. Like, I'm just going to go in there, grab him. And then he's like, no, I, I know what you want. I'm not going to let you get close. And it's yeah. like, wow, this just became a struggle all of a sudden. <laughs> that PK fire is so good. I was actually really aware of Batman. Knowing that Orcs was going to take aggressive, detonate the PK freeze early. Yeah. That was such a good... Was that a pivot grab? Couldn't tell. Oryx, really using the PK fire. Yeah, Oryx definitely a player that's comfortable in situations like this. Has very good uh, fortitude. Oh. Nice. Brought this back to and just about even. He gets one more hit and forward is definitely going to kill. I mean, oh. if he's got Batman off stage, it's going to kill him no matter what. Yeah, this is scary. And you can tell neither of these guys really wants to approach. They just want to get just close enough to make you panic and choose an option. But neither of these two are panicky players. That's a, that's a really good uh, option when you're a character with a kill off of a grab is just to just... And just wait it out. Just eventually they'll make a mistake and you'll get a grab. Oh, wow. Until finally kills. Well, wow. it took like four of those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucas Lucas isn't big on the anti airs, man, but he he has one pseudo anti air with that up tilt. It's not big above him, but it's enough. Yeah. And it's strong, man. It's, it's, it, it's pretty much functionally similar to Fox's up tilt, except worse. Oh, yeah. Where low percents, it'll combo, and then at the high percents, it will kill eventually. Mm -hmm. So, Oryx does have a Rosalina. Um, I think he's probably going to... Oh, is he going Rosalina? Okay, all right. And he's been given a coffee as well. <laughs> yeah, hmm, I don't know about the Rosalina. We'll see. The coffee's being taken away from him. Yeah, just get that straw. Keep the straw in the can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're sticking with the Peach here. And Battlefield's the pick, idea. yep. This is uh, definitely where I would be taking a Lucas if I were Oryx, because, you know, like we were saying earlier, Peach is much, much better at covering platforms oh, than Lucas. Oh, yeah, those platforms are going to be a chore, like, right now. Mm -hmm. That's it right there, the low float up here. Yeah. Wow, yeah, those platforms are already helping out tremendously. And it's and it's weird because Peach doesn't exactly fit the archetype of somebody who loves platforms, but her aerials just all happen to be so good because of float uh, for covering platforms. Oh my god, yeah, she can cover just about everything. Burning these turnips to cinders. Yeah. If anything, yeah, Batman just really needs Oryx to approach him. The platforms also hugely take away from that combo potential that Lucas has. But I've seen Batman take advantage of it before, man. He's done some crazy stuff with the platforms. That's a good runoff. Man, that tether. I, I still need to figure out how to, how to beat tethers. They're, they're just so... I, I feel like they were like, oh man, these were so bad in Brawl. <laughs> that like, we've got to make them really good in this game. And then they went a little too far. They made them really good. Oh, the platform not letting him detonate the PK freeze. It's so unfortunate. I know, it should totally just detonate on its own or whatever. I feel like it should just like kind of sit there or like roll off. That'd be cool. Oryx just barely... Getting out of the way of these PK fires, and that's letting him get in on Batman because he's able to scout out when and where he's going to throw them, and that forward air is a prime example. Yeah, I, I never want to be, uh, I never want to lose the first game against Batman because then it's like, oh, I'll, I'll probably have to deal with this counter pick. Mm -hmm. 
platform stuff, stuck on the platform. This is this is how it'll be. So you'll you'll get you'll get like a good 10, 20 Ooh. seconds of interaction, and then one of these guys will be on the platform. Wow. Up air, yeah, not quite gonna kill. The window on Peach is so tiny for Lucas to actually kill her before he can true combo that. I guess I think it might be like a three percent window. Wow. Yeah, very slow game right now. I guess kind of one of Lucas's weakness. She has like so much ability in certain areas, and then he just kind of loses to stuff like this. You just stay right out of his range. He has a lot of the big downfall of Lucas is that he just has a lot of blind spots. He does. Like a, like a, like a big truck or a bus or something. Oh no, Counter. the tether didn't connect. Ooh. Wow. Good angle. Angles on the on the on the PK Thunders are not easy either. Oh wow, that was that All was right. a big brain play right there actually. We got a game. Because I think Oryx is probably expecting him to just panic and recover with the with the PK Thunder, but yeah, this is definitely a game now because if Batman can get something big started, I thought that was gonna combo into the grab. Batman definitely uh, used to situations like this. I know he can make the comeback. Oh yeah, this is big. This is really big. Ooh. That yeah. was really big for Oryx to also be able to get the jump on the platform so he could footstool and get away from Batman. Yeah, Oryx needs to just not get greedy, just stay far away. I think Batman meant to jump with that PK fire as well, which put him in a bad position. Uh huh. His tether recoveries are so important oh. for him. But now all Oryx has got to do is capitalize. Not a complete loss as he does get him back off stage, Batman. Gonna be able to get the tether in there. Oh, this is so close right now. I mean, it takes one hit, oh. any aerial from Oryx, but Batman, oh, yeah, rage. way I, too much rage. I think he's probably gonna be good for a little bit, but, oh, there it is. Yeah, back here, we'll do it, but only barely. Yeah, that's scary. He's a scary player to have uh, close games with, because you yeah. can tell he's, he's done it a lot.